Okay, in this section of the videos, we are going to look at the combine tool. And the combine tool has three different properties. One of them is merging two or more objects together. The other is subtracting one object from another. And the third one is the getting the intersection between three different objects. And so let's take a look at the first one, merging. I'm going to click on merge. It's going to ask me the solid. Actually, you know what I need to do is bring these together first. So apologize. Let me bring them together like that and that and that. So we're going to look at three different three different uh, tools here. Okay. So we're going to go back to combine. And I'm going to go to merge. It's going to ask me for one object and the other. And then I click away to confirm. And what that does now with this object, it might not look all that much different, but what's happened is this is now one, one combined object, one piece. Okay. The next one is subtracting. And so in this one, so let's take a look and we'll test this out to see what it does. I'm going to hit subtract. It's going to ask me for the target solid mesh. And this is going to be um, the piece that remains minus whatever gets subtracted. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to say, what's the solid source mesh? mesh and I'm going to click on that. Now by clicking away and confirming, you'll see what happens. So the first one that got selected is the one that remains. The second one is the one that subtracts. Okay, had I, had I reversed the order, we would have uh, received a circle with a, with a little bit of a rectangle taken out of it. Taken out of it. Okay, and then this last combined tool is called the intersect. So we're going to get the intersection of what these two pieces are. I'm going to click on intersect, select one, and select the other, click away to confirm, and that's what's left between the combination of the circle and the rectangle. Okay, so these are the three tools.